Angela Ackerman, Independent Sensi Consultant. Today's video is the products I've been using. So the first thing is I had a scent pack. This one came out of one of my vehicles from the summer. It, it went in, it was out of my husband's car that he uses for commuting. So it probably was dead a little bit ago, um, but I only just remembered to go get it. <laughs> and put a new scent circle in because now that it's winter time I can use the scent circles instead of the scent packs. Um, I went through a scent circle in my vehicle of Autumn Hearth. This is a great scent. Um, it's pretty dry here but it's, um, it's just a great fall scent. This is probably one of my favorite fall scents right now. I went through a baked apple pie um, we put this in the warmer for Thanksgiving Day in the house, so it just smelled great, even though I didn't bake an apple pie. <laughs> we went through an orchard, orchard apple and spice. Um, my husband said he just wanted a, a good spice one, so we did that. We've gone through a very merry cranberry. And I'm gonna say so far, um, I would say most of these are just kind of a medium scent. They're not super overpowering. And like I have, um, there's there's one in this mix that is, was a not a hard hitter, but like strong and was lasting long. Um, and I'll get to that one here in a minute. But most of the ones that I'm talking about right now, were a medium throw, so. Uh, pretty and Plaid, Pretty and Plaid is a nice um, woodsy scent. And this one, I wanna say I finished off this one, like I had two cubes or something and I finished it off in a bedroom. So finishing off in a bedroom, it was a little bit stronger because it was a smaller space. I got rid of a uh, perfect, pumpkin pear. I don't like this scent. <laughs> um, I can't hardly smell it. Um, I can't barely smell it in the container. I could, I, it's not memorable. I was really hoping with the, the pear that the pear would really shine through and, but it doesn't. So this is definitely not something if it ever came back that I would purchase. Um, Christmas Cottage. This one is a good one and it's been, um, I've been alternating this one with basically pine scents <laughs> the last few days. So this is a good one. It's just like a spicy fruity scent. Uh, I got some Mighty Pine. Actually in my house right now I have Mighty Pine and Christmas Cottage. Um, throughout my warmers and mighty pine it almost has like a little bit of peppermint to it with the pine I don't know if that's really a scent note in there but that's what it smells like right here um I went through a I'm snow over it I had one cube left so I took it to work and it was a perfect balance because my office um I have a small office and but it was a good mild scent that didn't travel too far out into the hallway and it just it was great it smelled uh, just a little bit of minty and just a nice Christmassy feel um, this one is a really old bar really old and I found it and decided, oh, you know, maybe I should get rid of it because it's it's kind of gross. It's got like, I don't, I don't know if you can really see that, but um, but it's called Ice Hotel. It doesn't even, it's not even around anymore. It was a fresh scent. And so I figured, well, you know, probably should just get rid of it. So I finished that one off. And then this one so far out of what I've been warming, uh, has been my favorite and it is the scent of the month black forest pine so I um, 
when I get these bars, I immediately put them into my warmers to get it smelling so that I can see what it's going to smell like, if I'm going to like it. Um, and then I know when I'm making samples. And so I put it in, I have two warmers right now in my living room, which has vaulted ceilings, because that one's kind of hard to scent sometimes. And then I have a warmer in my kitchen and then a warmer in my dining room. The warmer in my kitchen is just a wall warmer. But I put, um, I spread the cubes throughout those four warmers. And I think I put a cube in my bedroom. So let's see, two, four, six. Yeah. So I had, so there's eight cubes in a bar. I put two cubes in each of the large warmers, one in my mini warmer, and then one in my bedroom warmer. This one was great. It's a woodsy pine scent. It, um, let's see, I have the description here. And, but it's filled, like, I walked in my house and it just smelled like Christmas. It smelled like a Christmas tree. Um, I'm definitely putting this one in my club box because this is a pine scent that I just love. And, um, it's, I don't know, but it just, it filled my house, which it can be hard to do. And it lasted, um... I took it out after two days, but I could have left it in there. It was still scenting the house well. Uh, okay, so the scent notes are, or the description, dark fir balsam accented with pampered tangerine and an air of smoked vanilla. It was, it's just fabulous. Love this one. Again, going to my club order and it was great. That was the, the star for the, the week with me. Okay. Um, I've also been going through some scent pods. Um, now that I've moved out to my stuff out to the apartment, I've been able to use some different, different products. So I have my, um, I have the Scentsy air purifier out here and the air pur purifier, you can put two pods in it. And then I also have a wall, um, diffuser in the bathroom in here. So I went through a squeeze the day, which if you're a lemon lover, squeeze the day, pure lemon there. It smells so good. Went through a toasted acorn and oak. This one was one that I was worried about. I didn't think I was going to like it. I thought it was going to be too woodsy, but it's not. It's actually more of a bakery scent and is fabulous so really liked that one uh went through a perfect gentleman i actually put these pods in when we went on vacation i put one in my husband's um suitcase and one in my son's suitcase so they they had nice smelling clothes when we got to mexico and then um i did one with mine too but i don't i i did um, well, because I used mine in my previous video for, because I also was scenting the room with pods. I did pina colada cha-cha in my bag. Anyway, uh, very merry cranberry. This is what I have in the, um, air purifier right now. So it's great. Okay. And then my last two items, I went through a counter clean and autumn road trip and this was a great scent. Um, it, it just was just very fall, just nice kind of an, um, apple scent to it. And then finally a laundry liquid in Luna. Now, again, so far in the laundry line, I've tried now Luna, Amazon Rain, Pink Cotton, and right now I'm doing Lavender Cotton or something with lavender. Um, and I think I like the Pink Cotton and the Lavender so far are my favorites. Um, Luna was okay, but it just wasn't my favorite. And Amazon Rain didn't have enough strong scent to it. So 
uh, yeah, that's what I've been warming. Hope you have a great day and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.